So this is uh, Stage Technologies tiptoe point hoist. The whole um, design aim about this is low noise, reducing noise. So there are a number of features we've incorporated in it. It's um, direct drive, there's no gearbox, no noise, no high speed pinions crashing about into each other making vibration. Um, all the contact between it and the building is via rubber pads or rubber wheels. There's no steel to steel contact. Therefore, we're preventing any vibration being transmitted to the building. One of the fundamental issue, uh, design features of this is that the rope comes straight off the drum. We're not actually, in its main purpose, running the rope via any diversion, diversion sheaves. You can see diversion sheaves on it, but more of that later. The main uh, design method of use is with the rope off the drum through the grid. And the other thing we've done here is we've banished any cooling fans from the, the drive system. There are no, no fans on this drive, no fans anywhere making any noise. So all of the heat sinks for the uh, control enclosure are pushed through the back of the enclosure into free air but in order to keep them cooling we have to keep those pins vertical so there are two basic uh, fundamental drivers to the design we've got a horizontal drum but vertical um, heat sinks from the drive but in order to make that work as a reasonably compact mechanism we've introduced this folding arrangement which i'll demonstrate where this horizontal section lift up and store in this position so it can be stored in this position and indeed you can wheel it around in this position with a shackle through here you can lift it with a chain hoist at high level that's pretty much over the centre of gravity so it's going to hang vertically you can also move it around, and um, Steve, my camera's assistant, will just demonstrate. It pretty much balances in this position. So we've got the centre of gravity of the motor and the MCC pretty much over the wheels, and you can reasonably easy move it around the way you want it on the grid and position it back. So I'm just going to drop it down again. Taking the shackle out. Then uh, lower it down again. Release the handles. Um, so that's the, those are the fundamental features of this thing. There are some additional um, optional extras, if you like, that we've, we've fitted. As well as running the rope straight off the drum, which is the quietest arrangement, you've got an alternative way of reaving the, the rope off the drum and down off this sheet here which would allow you to nest maybe four of these in a ring to have four times the lifting power in a very uh, concentrated area to lift a, maybe a single heavy load. Um, we've got full SIL-3 compliance. If we can do SIL-3 monitoring of position via two encoders one at the back of the motor, one here at the front of the drum. We've got SIL-3 monitoring of the load via um, drive current monitoring and a separate independent load cell. Um, other features, uh, we can use these handles, can be taken off in 
inserted in these brakes. There are two brakes for BSM 905 compliance. But say the power to the building goes off, you can use these levers to, in a controlled manner, allow the load to be descended safely with no power. This winch also has uh, particular features to allow you to change the rope very quickly. We can retract the pinch roller with a little over centre mechanism. We can lift the cross groove detector up. Both of those features allow you to get very easy access to the drum. You can also access the drum when it's in the upright position. <laughs> 